This WordPress tutorial is your shortcut to a stunning website. No coding, no confusion. Just click build and launch. Throughout this video, I'll show you how to create a website similar to this one, or it can be any other design. In fact, I'll show you how with a simple click of a button, you can import a fully built website in less than five minutes. So if you want to create something similar to this, I'll show you how to do that and more. We'll create the about us page, the contact us page. I'll show you how to redesign the header section if you want, and also the footer section, how to create your own menus, a mega menu, if you so choose. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. The first thing we'll need is a hosting and our domain. For example, in this case, we've got www.ai.com. This is our domain name and our website's hosted on a particular hosting provider. If you've already got that sorted, no problem. You can skip this section. But here's the deal. If you buy hosting for our link, which will be in the description below at no extra cost to you, we'll build this entire website for you for free, professional setup, powerful tools, no stress. If you want to claim this particular offer, click the link in the description below, or just head over to aitthemes.com slash YouTube. It'll take you to this page here and you can go ahead and select this option where it says free website setup. Whilst you're on this page as well, go ahead and download this Citadella WP theme for free. This is what we'll be using. There is a pro version if you need it. If not, that's fine. And we'll also need the AIT Blocks plugin. That is a paid plugin. There's a free version. Again, it's limited. But again, if you want to upgrade to the pro plan, then you can go ahead and utilize this special promo code here. Exclusive for you YouTube viewers. With that out of the way, let's head over to our dashboard. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and install our Citadella WP WordPress theme. So we'll navigate over to appearance themes, and you just want to go ahead and click add theme upload, and then choose the file in which you've just downloaded from AIT themes. We need to install the plugin that we'll need. So we'll navigate over to plugin, same process again, add new upload. And in this case, we'll upload the AIT blocks plugin the free and pro. I've already got it installed and activated here. So I'll just quickly show you. So we've got the AIT Blocks plugin here and a pro version. We've also got Citadella WP Pro. But again, if you download the theme with one click of a button, it will automatically install this for you. All right, perfect. So the next thing we need to do is navigate over to AIT Blocks. And now we're going to import our website template to get us started faster. So before you actually do anything, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and enable this option here where it says site builder, because this will allow us to create beautiful header design, footer design, and totally customize pretty much every aspect of our website. Let's head over to starter sites. And then from here, we can choose any of these template designs. There's more designs added weekly as well. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to select this design here. From here, we can choose our color palette. We can choose our typography like this one. And then once you're happy with everything, just click start importing. We'll wait for it to do its magic and then we'll jump straight back into the tutorial. All right, so let's view our web. There's a few things we need to change to get this looking like our demo example. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click customizer and I'm going to go ahead and click general layout and then we'll go down here to where it says wide size and we'll just set this to 1400 pixels and then we can just hit publish. I've already got it set here, so that's fine. Now we'll head back over to our home page. I'm going to edit this page and there's two settings we want to change. Where it says Citadel page setting, I'm going to click hide the title because we want to hide this title here on the front end and we'll click remove spacing on the header as well. And then finally, where it says Citadella content setting, we'll select wide here and then we'll just hit save and straight away this should look 10 times better. So let's view our homepage. All right, perfect. Next, we're going to go ahead and customize the header section of our website. So to do that, again, we'll head back over to our dashboard and we'll navigate over to AIT blocks and then we'll click on site builder. We'll click header. Since we've imported a demo site, we've already got a header design here and it's applied to the entire site. We can create multiple different header design based on various different conditions. So if you want to create a different header design for your contact us page, you can do so and you can set the condition to only display on that contact page, but we'll keep it simple. We've got one header design for our entire site. 
That's fine. Let's click edit. What I personally like to never am editing using the block editor is I'll click this hamburger looking menu here where it says document all just so I can get a feel of what's going on the page. So we've got two row. So our first row is where we've got our logo and we've got our address and opening time. And that's fine. And we've got our second row here. We've got our menu and also our contact us button. So again, that's perfectly fine. If we click on builder here, we can see the container width. And we can set this to match our content page design. So instead of it being 1,120, we can change this to 1,400. Now we can select this row. And if we didn't want this particular color here, let's click on block. We can change the background. That looks fine. And we'll customize our menu items shortly as well. In fact, whilst we're here, I'll show you how you can quickly add a mega menu. So here where it says careers, I can click on it and just click add a sub menu. So we can just add a normal list or we can add a mega menu. I'm going to select mega menu here and we'll click this plus icon. If you can't see row here, just search for row and select this option. And I'm going to create a super basic mega menu. So here I'm going to add our menu, the AIT blocks menu. I'm just going to leave these here. In your case, you can click on it and we can go ahead and edit the option here and add the link to the appropriate page. Well, I'm going to leave it as default for now. In this particular column, I'm just going to add an image. And we'll click on this here and we'll just select this option. Let's click select. Let's save changes and I will view our website again on the front end. So let's refresh this page. Instead of this being blue, it's now black. And now if we hover over where it says careers, we can see our mega menu here. So I want our menu to display vertically. Let's quickly change this. Let's click on menu, click where it says select a parent menu. And here it's displaying inline. So I'm going to uncheck that option and hit save. And now it should be displaying perfectly fine vertically. Let's refresh our page, All right? Careers here, it's displaying just fine. This is just a basic menu. Obviously you can add anything you want in there. You can add latest posts. You can add a video. You can add some description about your services, for example, you name it. But that's how you go ahead and customize the header section of your website. And the concept is exactly the same for the footer section of our website. So I won't go through that. If you did want to edit the footer section here on the header, if we just select footer, we can just click edit and then go ahead and design it. Now we'll move on to customizing our homepage design and then we'll create our contact us page design. To do this, all we have to do is just click edit page. We're currently on our homepage, so we'll just click edit. And as always, I like to see the document overview to get a rough idea of what's going on the page. So we've got our main row here, our hero section, basically. We've got this wrapper here, which is where we've got this particular call to action to get a quote. We've got a spacer separating the content. We've got another wrapper here with some more information about services. So let's click on this row here. Let's say we wanted to change this image. So I've clicked on the row and if we go to background and wrapper, we can currently see the background set to an image. We can also add a video as well or a gradient or a solid color. So I'm going to select image. I'm going to click this X icon here to remove the image and then a plus icon to add a different image. And just like that, we've replaced the background image. We can change the focal point as well. And let's say we wanted this same. We've got two, one column, two column. I'm going to click on this row and I'm going to change this to only one column. And for the flex properties, right, we'll make sure everything's... Let's hit save changes and let's have a look at our homepage design. So we can click this icon here where it says view page. So let's continue editing our homepage. Let's click this plus icon. We're going to add a FAQ section. To do that, all we're going to do is we're going to add a new row. We'll set the width to be 100%. This row is in a particular column. So let's remove that and let's make it its own column. And let's have it be its own row. So that's I'll change the spacer to 60. Now within our row, we're going to add, let's click this plus icon. We're going to add an accordion. In fact, instead of adding it this way to speed up the process, what we'll do is I'm going to actually remove this. We're going to click on AIT templates here. We'll click on pre-made patterns. We can import any of these particular pre-made patterns and it just helps speed up web design process. For example, we can just go ahead and import this one, for example, and that's fine. If we wanted to tweak maybe the arrows, 
wanted to tweak the styling of it, we can go ahead and do so. Once you're happy with everything, just hit save changes and then we can double check our design. I'm not happy with the width of this, so we'll change this and we'll add a bit and we'll add a bit of padding below it. And that's why it's not within our row. So let's move it into this column area here. That should be fine. And we can go ahead and search for a space and we'll set this to be maybe 60 pixel let's hit save if you refresh this page all right perfect so this looks fine we should give it a heading as well and that would make sense so again let's click our plus icon we'll select this heading here and we'll just say something like faq we'll click on where it says heading typography we'll change this to em and we'll say free em and that looks good we can have it centered, but I quite like it like this. And it's the fact just to match our style in here. We'll go ahead and make it centered and we'll change the styling as well to match this one. That looks good. Let's hit save. Let's refresh this page to do a final check. I'm happy with everything. So that's fine. We'll move on from our home page now. And of course you can add and remove any section you need to. One last thing before we move on, it's worth double checking the responsiveness. So currently this is our desktop view. If we click on mobile, we just want to make sure everything looks good on a mobile device. And it already does, which is good. If it didn't, when we click on any section, if you notice here, you'll see this mobile icon. So it means that any change we make will only affect the mobile display. So it's super powerful in that regard that we can fine tune the experience based on the device that the users come into our website from. All right, so now let's go ahead and click add new and we'll add a new page and we'll call it about us and just like everything we can go ahead and add a block we can search for it here i personally like to just click this icon if you know exactly what you want you can search for it but if you're unaware of the different options that we've got available then it makes sense to just open this up so you can have a look and instead of adding any row or anything like that again i'm just going to click on templates pre-made patterns this looks like a good about us page I like the design, obviously we'll swap out the text and the images and we can just hit import and just like that, we've created our about us page. Again, we can click on a document overview to see how the page is structured. We've got a wrapper with this purplish background. We've got a row and if we click on it, we've got two columns. So in the first column, we've got this text and this image here and the second column, we've got this image here. Let's hit publish. Oh, there's one thing we forgot to do. We forgot to hide this main title here. And to do so, we'll click on page and then we'll just select hide title section. Remove the spacing under the header and let's hit save changes again. Now let's view our about us page. I'm not happy with the width, so let's head back over here. And where it says content width, we'll select wide. Let's hit save and let's refresh this page and that's loads better. If we didn't want this background color here, we can remove it. So for example, let's click on the wrapper. Let's select block general background. We'll just say white and let's hit save. Let's refresh this page. All right, perfect. This is our about us page. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and create our contact us page. And this time I'll show you how to create it if you're on the back end of your website. So to do so again, we can just still click add new and then page. Or we can go to pages and then just click add page and we'll just say contact us. I think you get the idea. We'll go to templates, pre-made templates. Want to make life as easy as possible. Let's see if we've got any contact us template. I'm not sure if we do at the moment. I'll make sure we create some. So when you're creating your contact us page, you can create, you can select some pre-designed layout. I'm going to import this layout here. And then we'll just tweak it to match our contact us page. We'll change the heading here. We'll just say contact us. And then you can add some extra copy here if you want. If not, we can remove this subheading. And then it just says contact us. So I'm going to delete this row. So we just right click and just hit delete. We've got this row, two column row. And I'm going to remove the table. Let's hit delete. And let's click this plus icon here. I'm going to search for contact form, AIT blocks. Let's go ahead and select it. We've got a name field, email field, subject, message. I'm happy with everything. To change it, we can go ahead and change the, we can change the label here and also the placeholder. Validation message is when there's an error on the page. 
we can highlight them to the field, which require their attention. Submit, we can change our submit button. We can enable recapture, which I absolutely recommend. Specify who the email will be sent to, add CC or BCC. Subject line, if you want, the success message button. We can choose our button layout here. And of course we can customize the text here as well. We'll remove this because this is our contact us page. Let's just delete this button. We can add some additional information here. We can add a Google Maps. So if we go down here, we can see Google Maps. However, you do need to add your API key to the settings page. I'll quickly show you in a second to be able to use this Google map option here. Let's hit publish. Let's view our contact us page. This is what it looks like so far. We've got two contact us heading. We're gonna remove this one. So just like before, we'll click page and where it's a Citadel page settings, we'll just click hide title and remove the space under the heading as well. Content width, we'll set this to wide and we'll hit save. Now let's refresh this page again. And this looks nice. Ideally, I think I want to contact us form on the left side. So let's quickly change it. So again, we'll click on document overview and we've got two columns. This is our first column highlighted. I'm just going to drag and drop it below. So now we've got our contact us form and if we can add like our opening hours or something like that. So I'm going to add this text here. Let's copy this and Let's paste it in. Let's hit save and let's see how this looks and we'll make any necessary adjustments. You would want to probably add a Google map here. Let's head back over to our dashboard and I'll show you where you'll add your Google map API key. So we'll just navigate over to AIT blocks and where it says Google maps, you just want to enable this option. Click the settings icon and add your Google Maps API. One final point before we close off this video is we'll head over to our homepage and I'll show you how you can quickly tweak the color scheme of your website and also the typography on your website. So I'm going to edit this page. I'm going to click on this icon here where it says AIT blocks settings. And then from here, we can choose the override themes default styling. I'm going to enable this option. And now we can choose from these preset designs. And if you're not quite happy with any of the, just choose one. And then below here, we can go ahead and customize the individual color. So it's the same for the background typography. We can override the themes default typography, font size, and so on. Uh, we can just change it here. And this will apply throughout our entire website. Our editor whip. We can choose our theme default, or we can have it be full screen or some other custom size. So again, this is for advanced users. If you want to further customize the responsive breakpoints on your website, you can go ahead and do so. But the default is usually okay. Once you're happy with everything, we can just hit back and hit save changes and a change will apply throughout our website. And this brings us to the end of this video. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in a comment.